kindergarten teacher here in Vietnam. Now in this video guys, I'm going to tour you around our classroom. As you can see, you're loved. Now, as you can see behind me guys, our classroom is very, very simple. It's very minimal because this classroom is actually meant for, for Montessori classroom because I'm actually working in a Montessori school. So we don't actually put lots of um, decorations. Well, I decided not to put a lot of decorations because I actually learned my lesson last year wherein I actually focused more on decorations and I forgot that I have 24 children who got this powerful wants and needs in their lives and coming from different backgrounds. So last year I was not able to balance that but I've learned my lesson so that's why this year I opted to you know choose some decorations that would actually last longer like probably this word wall probably I'm gonna tour you around so I have some word wall that would actually last for a term an art craft and some birthday you know birthday celebrants as well so that they could see their faces and and also I have some classroom um, classroom helpers board so we actually do that every single day so I actually just picked some decorations that would actually be very very helpful and useful for everybody right so probably I'm going to explain everything why I got this and I choose this decorations and why you know I put some probably um, some materials in a in a perfect spot or kind of sort of that okay you will know so if you're interested please continue watching this video let's go all right so we're gonna start from the outside now for this term we made a transportation theme so as you notice you can see some different kinds of transportation here so we have boat um, submarine, car, hot air balloon. So it actually varies. So we have land transportation, air and sea transportation. So aside from the pictures, you can see some words. So these is what we call um, sight words or popcorn words. So this is very helpful to recognize words on site and give them opportunity to become familiar with these words. So that's better for them. So right here, you can see a shelf so I put some labels or names on it so that it would be easy for them to, you know, to recognize or probably remember where to put their bags properly. And here we have a very, very simple shelf. I'm sorry for that, it's kind of blurry, but this guy over here is actually my favorite and not just me, but of course my students. So right here we can see our classroom rules so this is very important that we set some classroom rules maybe just make classroom rules that are democratic but not unstructured if that makes sense okay so we have some teddy that those are their reading partners and we have some trays over here one is for the water bottle and one is for the milk I'm so sorry if my cabinets are kind of messy, so I'm actually trying to figure out how to clean that one because it's very hard to, you know, to, what's this, to stick it out. So those are like, you know, marks of the tape. So we actually put our, our art materials over here or any materials that we could actually use for our, you know, activities inside the classroom, both outside and inside. So right here, up here, this is actually our word wall. So every morning meeting, we introduce one word 
so we usually practice and repeat words to you know to improve their reading fluency and comprehension so this is actually my favorite and right here it's not going down okay <laughs> all right that's enough okay so here down here this is actually my classroom helpers but aside from doing our word of the day we also have like good morning song and what's the weather today so this is actually one way to boost their confidence so i call up one kid to come up and help me to sing the song and figure out what day is it today and this one is actually my favorite so this one this is a classroom helper chart as you can see this actually helped them to learn their responsibilities and give them a positive experience so i want them to feel special that they're actually contributing to the classroom community so that actually this word will actually be a distraction for me i'm still saying something okay so let's keep moving so as you can see um these are actually like montessori materials they are being sectioned into different um shelves so we have like a what do you call this one a i forgot what says a practical life um shelf we have language shelf we have cultural shelf and we actually have two shelves that house for montessori math materials so these are actually like you know materials that are used for learning activities that like sorting um counting and even life skills so these materials are actually very amazing so here this is our birthday chart so we're just gonna skip that one really quickly because you can see some you know there are smiling faces in it so these one is my favorite because i like art so my this is our art and craft station or board so this is very simple it's very minimal that one is a planning board so this is where we put our lesson plans our meetings attendance and yeah here you can see our cabinet so if you notice i put some labels in it so that you know it's easy for me to you know get the things that i wanted or things that i need and put them back on their proper places um actually this one is actually inspired by kaizen method if you're familiar with that that was that's actually a japanese method it's like helping you to do things in an organized way like sort of that so you should do research yeah it's it's a very very helpful and it makes my job easy so right here this is you know this is the place where they do their writing and playing sometimes so this is also an inspiration of kaizen i put some labels in it so that you know my kids would remember where to put them back like the glue and the scissors and then you know some papers and this is very helpful actually and this one um this is our um whiteboards that's actually at the back of the whiteboard so we're just preparing something for the for the next day so right here um this is this is actually a very a small storage but it actually very it's very very useful so we sectioned into two up um right there on top it's actually for the boys and in the lower part it's actually for the girls so all right guys that's all i've got inside my classroom i hope you've enjoyed and learned something this classroom I mean from this tour rather so hope to see you guys in our next video and good luck bye
Which one do you like? All right, you're gonna shake hands. Mommy, Very good. Honey's so cute. All right, good job. All right, next, Kanga. Hug, all right, give a hug. Good job. <laughs> That's two. Okay, all right, go. Wow, good job. So sweet. All right. Okay. Which one do you like? All right. Give a fist bump. All right. Good job. What about Miss Tina Moon?